Okay, so this is part two of the video I was doing last night. Back to the subject at hand. I'm trying to see where I left off at. Um, moving my roommate. Come to find out she... Okay, yeah, okay. So, I'm moving my roommate, whatever. So, this dude started coming over. And it started off from, like... He'll come over, like, one or two days. Stay the night or whatever. Like, the first night he got there, this bitch stayed the night. Like, he literally stayed the night. He stayed, like, what, two days? Then he left. Came right back over there and stayed. It started out from him staying a couple of days, like one or two days, three, four days. Then actually staying there, like not leaving at all. Like even when she go to school, he's there. And it's like, and I asked her not to leave, not for him to be there at the apartment when she's not there because there's no reason for him to be there when she's not there. And I asked her to keep him out the kitchen, out in the refrigerator and stuff. And I asked him, I asked her because she lifted it up. To me, it was like, I was the best roommate to her. Because when I had, she had. This bitch would order fucking food. And won't give me none. Like, it's a couple times she knew I was hungry and didn't have no food. And this bitch didn't offer me to say, hey, well, I'm ordering some food. But when I got it, bitch, you got it. But your man can't even afford to get your hair did. You talking about you waiting to find that your aid. To get your dreads retwisted and to buy you some clothes, you got a man that's in the land that with your ass, and he can't buy you no clothes. He can't um pay your rent for you. He can't pay no light bill. He can't get your hair did. You're like you gotta wait to find financial aid, bitch. You got a man, bitch. I ain't no fucking waiting. What the fuck is he there for? My thing is, if your dude, if he really your dude, he see you ain't got this, he see you ain't got that. At least try to attempt to go get. At least try to go get attempt to go get your hair did. Damn, bitch, he only paid for her nails. Her nails, not the whole, not nails, not like you, bitch. You can get your own nails and toes and shit did. Did be paid for her nails one time. I thought she had to beg him for that too. Like, girl, catch up, bitch. You land with a bum. Your man is thirty some years old. He act like he just got out of jail and ain't got shit. A bitch just get out of jail and get them a fucking phone. Probably gonna find them some money just like that. Like, he is too, that man is too up fucking overgrown to be staying in a student housing with a college student. Bitch, catch up. Like, and you wanna sit up here and get attitudes and shit, bitch. I might not have a man, but my man will, but my man will be no fucking bum when I get one. Like, this bitch, like, we, we come over, all I, my, I, fidget, I be bringing shit from home, from work, because I work in at Walmart. So, bitch, I was bringing shit home, and discount. I bring shit home, the shit be gone. This bitch fixing enough. Bitch, I'm bringing stuff for the two of us, not the three of us, the two. This bitch fixing them two kings and queens play. All they fucking do is sit and smoke and smoke weed all day and eat. That's all they fucking do. So... When the fish, he go to the fish rate that fucking empty, this bitch get food stamps. I don't know how much food stamps he get. It must not be much. Because when they go to the store, they bring home like fucking five items. What the fuck is five items gonna do? And then, and then, you know, be shit that we ain't got. You gonna bring home five items shit that we can like, we got milk. What we gonna use milk with? We got egg. We got cheese. What the fuck we gonna use cheese with? We can't fucking fry cheese by itself. So... It was just stupid because it was just stupid because of this like dumb shit. Like, girl, you sitting up here, um, I'm a little hot. You sitting up here, um, you sitting up here, you girl, you a paymaster on a budget. That what you is. You are a paymaster. That what you got a paymaster on a budget. When your mom, when your mom paying for you to go to school and she paying for your rent. And she sending you money like every week or every two weeks, and you giving it to another nigga. You paying for like you motherfucking benefit. You like the benefit the other damn relationship. Like you providing, and all he's doing is just taking and not giving you shit, but some raggedy ass dick that you probably can get some motherfucking way else. Girl, please shut your fucking door and keep, shut your fucking cause you dumb as fuck. Like. I really wanted to tell you at the time. I really wanted to tell you when we were staying there, but at the time I was like, you know what? It's not gonna be. It's not gonna be worth me telling you shit because you like you're not gonna listen. People like that that sit up there like when they change around, when they get around other people, or when like good shit goes, when good stuff going on in their relationship, they change 
Or when you get a boyfriend, especially with a man, when a dude come in place, your friendship is changed. Like if your if a if your friend you supposed to be your best friend, your right you're supposed to be your best friend or somebody who you stand with and you consider your friend and this is what people messed up. This is what people messed up. It's like you don't change. I don't care. We, if we did, we knew each other. We went, we saw, we saw each other at school. We met at school. We would hang around each other every so often, probably like three times out the month. We would like, and then we would talk like what four times out the month. But we would see each other mostly at school though. So I would never if I was to get a boyfriend, I would never do nobody like that. First of all, the bitch ain't for me spending the night with me. First of all. The only purpose to be night with me is me and my fucking dog. My bed is built for me and my... I don't give a look. That bitch is a big, full, athletic bed. For, built for a fucking athlete. I'm the fucking athlete. That bitch is a motherfucking mini athlete, bitch. We in that bitch together. So, bitch, I have you pay no rent. No nothing. I ain't got no phone, no job, no car. Staying with his people at 30 some years old. So basically, your boy, your boyfriend's a bomb, and you a paymaster on a budget. How you gonna be a paymaster on a budget? You barely got shit. So you giving your money away to this other bum ass nigga. That just don't make sense to me. Two. And it was like the point about like what was so fucked up is that you was picking him over me. And how it was like you, I had to give you reasons why I didn't, why I didn't want him there all the all the, 24-7. I had to give you reasons why I didn't want him in the kitchen. I had to give him reasons um, why I didn't want him in the kitchen, why I didn't want him there. Oh, why he couldn't be there when you're not there. First of all, if anybody with common sense would see what shit go wrong. When they're just like, if I was a girl and you left your man, he's not attractive at all. He walked with a limp and missing teeth. Who want him? Nobody. He ain't, he ain't like you need to get a check for the damn leg. But they're just like, okay, you go to school. You leave, whether well, it's the girl or boy, whether he gay or straight, it doesn't matter. And your.